So the expression controller, very cool technique used to control our fan speed. But personally, I'd rather have a remote control in my hand. Faster fan, slower fan, click of a button. That's what I want to do. So let's go ahead and create our own virtual ceiling fan remote control. I'm going to go ahead and create another dummy object. It's going to end up being our remote. Go ahead and align it up to what we already have. Name it appropriately here. Dummy remote control. Seems good. So that dummy object is going to now control our fan speed. So we're going to give it an attribute holder modifier. And that can be anything. It's like a blank slate. We can add whatever attribute we'd like to that. In this particular instance, we just want to control the z-axis speed. So in our animation tab here, we're going to open up the parameter editor. We're going to add a parameter. And you can see this custom doesn't have any attributes to it yet. This is kind of going to rename this parameter to, let's call it uh, fan speed. And other options you can give it are um, most mostly aesthetic types of things. You can shorten it. You can give it uh, right justification. You know, all these things that could kind of just make it look tidier over there. We apply those changes, say fan speed zero. Um, so that range, we're going to start our range from negative two. And we'll test those out, make sure they work. The default zero, that's going to basically indicate that the fan will start at an off position. We could obviously change that to on um, or not, but let's keep it there for now. That seems like it'll work. Go ahead and apply those changes. So now we have an attribute there called fan speed. Now, originally, our fan was predicated to a constant speed. Right now it's set to 0.4, so it would stay at 0.4 the whole entire animation. If that changed, you'd have to go back and change this constant all the time. So instead, our remote control, we are going to navigate to our dummy fan. Actually, no, I'm sorry, our dummy remote control. That modified object, attribute holder. And let's go ahead and click on custom attributes and fan speed and click OK. And now when we hit play, guess what? Our fan doesn't move. Why is that? Because our default is set to zero. We go ahead and click on our remote control here. We have fan speed set to zero. We hit play. And now by a click of a button, fan speed backwards, forwards, very fast, even faster. Very cool. So this changed the speed of our fan on the click of a button.